Um, before the international break, you were hoping you would have quite a few players coming back from injury. Um, can you tell us what the situation is with everybody at the moment? Everybody come back uh, fit and the players, uh, yeah, Fernandinho, Kevin, uh, Vincent, who else? Yeah, everybody is okay. Um, obviously, of the international players that went out, one of the performances that really stood out for a lot of people was, was Raheem Sterling. Um, Gareth Southgate said that he thinks that maybe he could be an England captain one day. How impressed were you by his performances for, for England? Well, it's good for the national team, for us as well, of course, but for the national team, good performance, uh, amount of goals and, and the chances he creates, it's good. Unfortunately, he was also the subject of some racial abuse. Was that particularly upsetting for you to see? Yeah, of course. But this is a, you know, a work or a job or whatever. You have to every day, every day, every day, complaining when, when it's happened, what happened. So uh, we have to be there every every single day, and and Rahim with his behavior. Uh, show us uh, the reality of our society. Back to the Premier League this weekend. Is there any advantage or disadvantage at all for you playing your game a day before Liverpool plays theirs against Tottenham? It's as always. It's the last two months asking the same, so it's as always. So the calendar is what it is, so we cannot control the Sky, BT, Premier League decide when we have to play, we play. And when you look at how things were this time last year, having come back from a, an international break, you went on to win the Premier League, obviously, but, but missed out on the Champions League. Have things changed a lot since then? Have you learned lessons from, from how things were coming back after another international break? Well, I would say after international break, uh, we came back good. We took, took results. So I think that the rhythm for the points for the last season is quite similar. So we, we have done incredible amount, huge points, but we have a contender last season we didn't have it, like it made the same incredible huge amount of points. So now is uh, we're going to play 11 games, sure, definitely, 11. And if we deserve uh, to play 12, maybe, maybe 14, but maybe 15. But to happen that, you have to deserve it. But we're going to play 11 games, eight left for the Premier League. So game by game, we will see what happens. Just finally, for well, well, uh, United is always incredible opponent. So, c of course, congratulations for the soldier for uh, what he has done. Incredible in terms of the result, the way they play. So, so wish him all the best. Uh, Simon Stone, BBC. Do you think that the problem of racism within European football is getting worse? I think in Europe, not in football. It's getting worse, yeah. Is that a concern for you? Yeah, of course. I'm a human being. Yeah, it's not nice. There, there's been talk that players, managers, probably, referees, in instances such as the one in Montenegro, should have the power to simply walk off the field. What, what do you feel about that? We could do that. We could do that. So we have a uh, football is in a strong weapon. In the in the not nice words to say is a strong you know weapon to to defend the principles of humanity. So I remember a long time ago the people said you cannot mix football and politician. That is not true. So politician is in everywhere. The human rights is in everywhere. Long time ago in Valencia was hitting. He didn't play because it was a nazism flag behind the goal. So and stop it. So when the club or the players or the organization decide to do it, of course, from my side, we're going to follow them. Would you do it yourself? Would you, would you we could do that, yeah. If uh, I'm not alone, uh, alone in, 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 in the club. I'm part of the club. Of course, I have to be involved the club, the chairmen and the CEOs, and of course, the, my captain, the team, the players, when we all together decide we can get a uh, good signal to do that, why not? So you have to, the situation changing when you do something. If not, it's impossible. The situation is always the same. So that's why when people like him or the other cases, you know, express what they express is a good for the, for the future, for our society, be better.
achieve this? But the problem is not about the football itself. It's the society. What happened in Europe and the, the right side, the extreme right side is, is going there. And the message they're going to sending, you know, to, to win the election to the votes, we are not safe. So it's not a problem the football, it's the society itself. And just back on to the football, it's, it's three weeks since you've played a Premier League game. How hard is it now with everything so close uh, and, and so much at stake to switch back on now into the Premier League focus? In the last seven months it happened. We played different competitions in the last seven months, so it's, not, uh, it's not, not a problem. So it's going to happen. Now we played two games in Premier League and after we come back, Cup, Champions League, come back, come back. So it's where it is. Game by game, competition, new one. <laughs> We know what you have to do. You want to be until the end, fight for the Premier League. So that's all. It's easy. Hi, Pep. Uh, Jonathan Smith from ESPN. Uh, just in terms of the first team, is, is Benjamin, Medi, Benjamin Mendy ready for tomorrow? Yeah. And is he 100% or do you have to manage his fitness at the moment or of his injuries? Of course, he needs time, yeah. So, but he trained last three days and the reaction he needs is really good. So you see him playing a big part in the, in the next... To, Ho to the hopefully. Uh, now we have, except Fabian Delf, the other people is fit, and, and we have 21, 22 players, and that's good. They have to compete each other to, to take one place in the, in the position.